Hello everyone and welcome to the Unreal Engine 5 on Wise video tutorial series. In this video we will take a look at post trigger function in both Blueprint and C++. Triggers are being used at interactive music segments to trigger partition. Stingers are a good example of the usage and we will do the same here. Let's start with the Wise project. First of all we need to create trigger. It's under Game Sync tab, you can just create one under triggers and name it something you will remember. We need to create a sound for that trigger. I'll be straightforward and drop a stinger there to use. Remember that my implementation is not really the favorable interactive music design in here. We are just testing functions. Go to the interactive music section and choose the main theme. You can see there is a trigger tab on specifications. Open that up, bring your trigger to there you can specify when to trigger that exactly. Under play at group, you can find possible placements. Also, there are a couple important details to limit consecutive calls. I'll put a 5 seconds blocker and allow it to play at next segment as well. Let's try to team with all the game syncs attached to it. You could hear the stinger whenever we hit trigger button. Also, it won't be playing after 5 seconds we triggered. That's alive and well. Just as usual, generate sound packs and let's go to Unreal Engine. I'll show you my Unreal Engine voice settings. Sometimes you might get some problems generating sounds. I found that setup the best so far. Activate VA API as much as you can do, so you'll be synchronized. Also enable automatic asset synchronization. Generate sound bank data one more and check if trigger exists in the VA API picker list. Alright, let's go to character blueprint. Our jukebox object playing the theme, so we should post trigger on that object. Whenever we press E, it grabs the jukebox in the world, then post a function on that. The function we will create for wise post trigger. Go to Jukebox Blueprint, create a new function and make it public. And in that function, just call post trigger and choose the trigger we created on the list. Let's play the game and test if Stinger works.
Anyway, it's enough to cover blueprints. Let's go back to C++ and call the function in Jokebox. Instead of triggering by a keyboard input, I'll be a lazy abbot and constantly call it when we change the theme to success. Function is post trigger and it gets three parameters. We can either call it by using first and second or second and third. First parameter is audio kinetic specific type. We can create a public AK trigger variable in the class, then choose it in the editor by exposing, but we already done the blueprint and it's almost the same. Instead of that, we will use second and third parameter and send the string value of trigger. You can leave the first parameter null for that usage. Time to test it in game, with wires profiler on. Let's go to fire pits and turn them off, change the theme and observe triggers on the profiler and hear it. I'll debug the code to show that we are hitting that function and what that function follows. As you can see, first parameter is null, it doesn't do anything. But we have third parameter that we can use to specify trigger. Then it goes to audio device post trigger function. Then inside of it, AK sound engine post trigger and rest is wise code that we can't debug simply. Alright, that was it for this tutorial. We covered blueprint and C++ implementation of post trigger function. I believe you guys can come up with better interactive music ideas to use it properly. Thanks for joining me on this episode, feel free to ask anything about it and have a good day.